Hello and welcome back to Psychonaut. Today, since the camp actually opened up to us, we're gonna explore a bit. I've been having a few issues around here where the loading would just crash. So I hope this doesn't happen. There's nothing I can do about it, and it may- Hey! It's the king of the obstacle course! Hey, Rez! You're awesome! You must be a psychonaut by now! Yeah! Or even a double psychonaut! <laughs> oh no, not yet. But soon. Wow, those two are so nice. They're mixing poison? I'm, I'm afraid of them now. Where were they? Up there. There's someone running about. <laughs> They're hiding themselves whenever you show them. Hey, what are you guys doing up here? Uh... Writing cheers! Oh yeah! Writing cheers! Wanna hear one? Uh... Okay. Ready? Okay! When I grow up... Hey, what you gonna be? I'm gonna be the best, just like my main homie. And when you say homie, whose horn might you be tooting? The mind reading psycho thriller. Oh, you must mean Rasputin. Yeah! Rez! Rez! Oh, no, Rez! Woohoo! <laughs> How about another cheer? Okay, you start, Clem. You know Rez is the coolest. The master psychic duelist. Bad guys try to snuff him. So he beats him like a puffin. Yeah! Raz! Woo! Oh, God. That's so bad. I'm sorry. Puffin? What was I thinking? Hey, hey, Crystal. It's okay. <laughs> no. I'm so stupid. So stupid. <laughs> I think that's all the cheers for now. Okay, Raz? Yeah, hey, sorry. I don't think I want any more cheers. Well, maybe you want to cheer her up. I don't think I want any more cheers. But I think as soon as we go further away, yeah, they go back to making poison or to do something with a, with a skull face on it. Well, that took me by surprise. I had to redo this, I think, three or four times. I had not noticed them here at all. Not once, not a single time. Oh yeah, maybe I should say this. So, I went back to the original area we were at at the very beginning and I picked up pretty much everything there, everything I could. Like all the cards, all the arrowhead and everything. What I want to buy is the cobweb, no, not the cobweb duster, the... Ah, the, the dowsing rod. It is 50 arrowhead, but the issue I'm having is that I need to be... I need to be rank 10 in order to, to use it. So I'm just gonna have to wait. But in the meantime, I want to explore. Because I feel like if you play this game, you have to see the interaction you can have with uh, every character. Okay, good news! You have enough Psy card to build a new Psy challenge marker. Yay! Just buy a Psy core at the camp store and use Agent Cooler's special lab equipment to put the card and core together into a new marker. Yep. And also those things, they're a little bit everywhere and the game doesn't really show you, but if you press the the same button you use to talk to people. Goodbye, cool camp. I'm tired of being picked on by Bobby and all the mean kids at camp. If I just had one friend here who was nice, then I would stay. But you're all mean and no one stands up for me, so I'm going home. I'll be in the parking lot waiting for my dad, so if you want to pick on me one last time, you'd better hurry. Malou. There is, there is a thing for every character in here. It is crazy. And you know what? We're gonna spend a bit to read them. Just an update for everyone. 
Nils and I are still broken up, and no matter how much he begs, I am not taking him back. Also, you should know that my new boyfriend doesn't like being called JT anymore. His real name is James. Sincerely, Elka. If anyone talks to the squirrels, they shouldn't listen because the squirrels are a bunch of stupid liars. Dope. <laughs> great deals in the main lodge store. Drop by for great prices on dream fluffs, psychors, and more. All available for just a few pieces of titanium. Band practice today. In the main lodge. The levitators will be jamming this afternoon. Please come by if you'd like to try out for the band. Warning. If I find out who's been biting holes in the bottom of these canoes, someone is going to get paddled. Admiral Crow. <laughs> Update. The levitators have broken up. However, there will be a practice session of the fire starters today in the main lodge. We are looking for someone who can play rock flute. Come on by and try out. Rock flute. I would like to hear something like this, by the way. Lily, if you're looking for me, I'll be down by the lake today. The fish seem a little upset, and I'm going to see what's wrong. But don't worry, I'll still do your homework for tomorrow, if you want. Elton Fur. Security cameras have been installed, and the next kid who jumps on my car is going to be very, very sorry. Coach Oleander. Hey, Clem and I just wanted to say that everyone did great in basic training today. Give yourselves a hand. Woo. Love, Crystal. Man, she dotted every eye with a puffy heart. And I just wanted to say ditto to that. Double ditto, in fact. Your friend, Clem. And I just wanted to point out, in case you didn't know, that Crystal's last name was Snagrash. Crystal Flowers Snagrash. No joke, Bobby Z. Vernon, Frankie totally has a crush on you. She is warm for your form. Signed, Anonymous. <laughs> Warning. The abandoned mental institution across the lake is not Psychonauts' property and not safe for children. Canoe access has been blocked off, but please, for your own safety, children, do not try to find another route. Love, Mia. Hey, if anyone sees Frankie, could you please tell her I'll be waiting for her by Makeout Cave. Vernon. Greetings, pan-galactic travelers. I am currently developing a new vehicle for intergalactic travel. Flight tests are being performed at a remote location in the woods. Hope to soon be visiting you in person. Thanks for the messages, Chloe. Goodbye, cool camp. I'm tired of being picked on yeah, by Bobby. Yeah, we, we basically saw. Well, you heard all of them. That's not the only thing. I think you can do it to the car, I'm not sure. This must be Agent Vodello's car. This must be Agent Vodello's car. So this one up here, but I don't know how you get to it. I don't know if you can do it to the camp uh, entrance. Nope. I wonder if the coach has a little jetpack or something to help him get in and out of this thing. I wonder if the coach has a little jetpack or something to help him get in and out of this thing. Oh, I guess you can probably fly all the way here after a while. Man, this thing was old when they chopped it down. Let's see. 500 years ago, enormous titanium bearing meteorite strikes the earth leaving a giant crater. 200 years ago, Native inhabitants begin making arrowheads out of the Citanium, which they call by the name Whispering Rock. This is a rough English translation. 100 years ago, prospectors and settlers take over the area, naming their boomtown Shaky Claim. 99 years ago, first case of paranormal hysteria diagnosed in Shaky Claim. 75 years ago, Houston Thorny builds his Home for the Demented to deal with the insanity epidemic. 60 years ago, more residents in asylum than in the town. Houston Thorny commits suicide by leaping from tower. 55 years ago, asylum closes. Last Valley residents paid to leave by the federal government who flood the crater to prevent further habitation. Lake Oblongata is created. Five years ago, Whispering Rock Psychic Summer Camp founded to nurture and train future psychonauts. Last summer, 
I got to first base with Elka Doom. Signed, Nils Lutfisk. <laughs> Man, this thing was old when they chopped it down. Let's see. I got to first base. <laughs> this is the last information we get. It's beautiful. But yeah, they actually give you a lot of information about the lore of this place, which is very interesting. Because you have... The only way you can know all of this is if you actually come here. I don't think they clearly tell you all this in the... Alright. Everybody fingers crossed that I'm going to be able to pass to the next area. Because this is what's been happening to me as a creep. Whenever there is a loading time between two area, it would freeze. Like the loading would freeze, but like everything in the background seems to keep moving. Like I could hear my character footstep, I could hear me jumping or doing attacks, but it would just freak out on the screen. Oh yeah, there's also a thing. But the the sound of fire is very very loud. But you can do this. The human mind. Six hundred miles of synaptic fiber. Five and a half ounces of cream. Fifteen hundred grams of complex neural matter. A three pound pile of dreams. But I'll tell you what it is. It is the ultimate battlefield. <laughs> and the ultimate weapon. The wars of this modern age. The psychic age. Are all fought somewhere between these damn. Gracious. From this day forward. Are all psychic soldiers, paranormal paratroopers, mental marines who are about to ship out on the adventure of their lives. This is our beachhead, and this is your landing ground. You shall engage the enemy in his own mentality. You shall chase his dreams. You shall fight his demons. You shall live his nightmares. Those of you who fight well. Memorize the entire speech. I just want to see if I can. Okay. If uh, if there is something that lets me change the sound a little bit. Master violin music, FX voice. I guess FX. I would like to make it go down. Music doesn't bother me or anything, but. Wait. Oh, let's also make another save just so I have it. Five. Six hundred miles of synaptic fiber. Yeah. Five and a half ounces of cream. The fire yeah. doesn't seem to be any quieter. I can hear a bear. Yeah, let's let's go on the path. I know there's a bear somewhere around here because I have actually fought it and you can fight it. Yeah, right over there. Are you actually coming right for me, sir? And it's not just any bear, it's a psychic bear. <laughs> yeah, you can't dodge when he tosses him. Just smack him. He actually doesn't have that much health. I don't think he gives anything except uh Nope, I was about to say a healing things, but he doesn't even give you that. Well that's a little bit sad. Alright. Ooh, healings. I was thinking there was something hidden in here, but nope. Let's go talk to her chanter. Mm. Oh, he's An eager chanter. one. Eager to learn, I wonder, or just eager to play. Sir, I am here to learn, sir. You're here to train hard? Mm. Yes, sir. Develop a skill? 
Yes, sir. To become part of a noble team? Uh, yes. Yes. To become... Yes. A janitor. No. What? I'm here to be a psychonaut. Nah, nah. <laughs> there the brainy jub jub goes on upstairs. And down here it's pushing brooms, not bending spoons. <laughs> hey, Mr. Cruller. Do you know where Sasha Nine's lab is? What? Huh? It's secret underground lab? I don't have a secret underground lab. That's hobgoblin. Now beat it. Get! And stop staring at my mouse. So, you don't know where Sasha's lab is? I told you, I ain't got no secret lab. Oh, that German fella. Oh, he's dug in under the GPC over there. Where did you... Under the GPC. Maybe it's your ears I should be mopping. All right, fair enough. Is there any... I was wondering if there was any reference to anything, but... Not that I can recognize, at least. Ooh. Entrance to something. Bear? I'm slightly confused as to where I am right now, but... Hmm. I'll just keep going this way. I'm trying GPC and Wilderness. Alright. Fingers crossed it actually loads. It worked! Haha, <laughs> success. It's kind of strange because this game doesn't have any issue except for those. Which is very, very strange. Okay. I feel like the game already told me this, but I guess I have enough for another one again. Excuse me, Mr. Ranger, but I'm looking for Sasha Nine's lab. Well, now, even if I knew where it was, and, and if it were down here, and even if you were very, very close to it right now, you, you shouldn't be poking around here. This forest is off limits. Now get! Excuse me, Mr. Ranger, but I'm looking for Sasha Nine's lab. Well, now, even if I knew where it was, and this forest is off limits. Now get! All right, fair enough. Oh. I can't go in here. Hey, was that you? Looking at me? Maybe you should try getting over yourself? There were a lot of other people on that stage besides you. No, just now. In the woods. Hmm, <laughs> no. It must have been something else. You don't smell like pond scum. Nice. You should write greeting cards. It was some sort of shadowy being out there. Lurking. Watching. I know of only one creature who fits that description. It likes to hide in dark places, silently watching unsuspecting children from a distance. Really? Who? You, tree sitter! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, hello. Chloe, right? That looks like fun. It's work. 
I'm testing a low orbit space plane design. <gasps> How's the testing going? Not now, Baz. But I want How's the testing going? Not now, Baz. Okay. I mean, I know I shouldn't get distracted, but this is the game. Oh no, I thought it was somebody. Oh, I just pressed that without thinking. I would also like to go to Lake Oblongada if I can. And yeah, spoiler, this is one of the destinations. Cauliflower head! What's hey, up? you're that new kid, ain't you? Well, I'm doing some advanced training right now, as a matter of fact. So I don't think new kid is really a name that you want to get too used to saying. Hold on there. You're not doing Sasha 9's advanced training that he does in his secret underground lab, are you? Hidden deep within the iron walls of the GPC, where no one can hear you screaming? Why, yes, I am. Sage alive. Well, nice knowing you. I like those guys, they seem nice. Hey, you guys sound great! <laughs> Much obliged, partner! That's really catchy. Thanks a lot, man. You guys are excellent! Mighty kind of you to say. Wow, sweet. Uh, glad you like it. Seriously, you guys really sound good. Doggone it, Raz, we're trying to play here! Seriously, <laughs> you guys really sound good. Doggone it, Raz, we're trying to play here! <laughs> they get upset at me because I keep complimenting them. That's so cool. Alright. Yeah, in case it's not obvious, I'm gonna take my sweet time doing a lot of things. What is this? Pro feathers! Yay! Progress has been made! And there's an acorn down here. But, aw, squirrel! Maybe, just maybe. I can come from above. And get it. I guess I'm gonna need some kind of power that I don't have to be able to get this. What is this? Nope, still won't budge. Alright, fair enough. Another bear? How is this other dude having a hard time finding bear there everywhere? They're psychic bear too. And they have fur. So I guess those aren't the bear he's trying to find. peeking into a hole in the girl's cabin. I'm hiding. And I thought, oh, Nils, when will you peek into the hole in my heart? Because you just see yourself staring back. Uh-huh. What? I mean, <laughs> he'd see my new boyfriend, James, staring back. And he'd be furious at Nils. Who's Nils? Exactly. <laughs> and anyway, there wouldn't even be a hole because James fills my heart till sometimes I think it's going to explode. One time. I made someone's head explode. Well, okay, maybe there's still a little hole. Actually, it happened four times. But James and I <laughs> have each other now, and Nils is just gonna have to deal with it. Now they make me wear this special hat, so I don't have any more accidents. Are you even listening to me, Dogen? I hope so.
Can she speak in Simish? Hey, Dogen, I got a secret for you. Nils. Hey, not fair. Whispering is so rude. What did he tell you, Dogen? Nils? Aw. Hey, Elka. Hey, butt out. Hey, Elka. Hey, Nosy, how about pulling your big beak out of our private business? Hey, Elka. Why don't you and your little goggles go poke around in someone else's private business? Hey, Elka. Hey, Nosy, how about pulling your big beak out of our private business? Hey, Dogen, I got a secret for you. Nils. Hey, not fair. Whispering is so rude. What did he tell you, Dogen? Hmm. All right. I could go to the lake, but I can go to the lake later as well. But I kind of want to go now, actually. Because I don't know if I'm going to miss interaction if I don't go there at some point. So... This is not where I want to go. I think the access port is right over there. Okay, crossing fingers. All right. Okay, it worked. I don't know, maybe it's just the way you take those loading screens. Maybe, I don't know. Because I've been having issue whenever I wasn't straight in front of it and I kind of came at it from a weird angle. So now we know there's someone here. Trying to speak to fishes. problem with water. It's a bunch of hooey anyway. Some old gypsy curse about how we're all supposed to die in water. If you can believe that. Oh, I thought it was about the whole thing with the brain-eating fish that walks out of the lake at night to hunt for victims. <laughs> well, see ya! Yes. Um, hey Raz, I saw you and Lily talking in the coach's class, and I was wondering, were you asking her to go with you? What? No! I'm here to train. No distractions. Excellent! Bye! Ooh, another one. That's all. I can probably reach uh, rank 10 and also go... Uh, go get the the dowsing rod, but hey. hey, are you psychic fishing? I've read about that. Oh, I could never fish. That would be terrible. Regular people can be mean to fish, I guess, but I can't. I can hear everything the little guys are thinking. Fish think about what? Well, normally not much, but today they're all kind of freaked. They're scared of something in the lake. Me too. Now that I know it's full of freaked out thinking fish. There's something big and scary out there, Raz. I wonder, could the old legends be true? What are you doing? Shh! I'm trying to hear them talk. What are you doing? Shh! Right. I'm trying to hear them talk. Does this say messages wrong? Just an update for everyone. Nils and I are still... Yep, still the same. Alright. Hey, Mr. Cruller, can I take out a canoe? Uh, Mr. Who? You will call me Admiral, son. Uh, no, you can't charter a vessel. Not without an oarsman's badge. Excuse me, Admiral? Eh? Where can I get an oarsman's badge? 
I'd really like to take out a canoe. I gotta get it from one of the official camp counselors. I can't have just anybody in my fleet. Excuse me, Admiral? Eh? Hey? Where can I get an oarsman? I gotta get it from one of... All right. What? Oh, it's a fish. Ooh. What's that round thing up on the dock? That thing? Oh, man. Let me tell you about that thing. That thing is none of your stinking business. What are you guys doing? Beat it, you kid. What's that round thing up on the dock? That thing? Oh, man. Mind if I scoot by? Not if you don't mind my fist scooting in your neck. You want to punch oh, us no, in the you neck? don't. What do you mean, oh no, I don't. I just got out of here. I don't have time to deal with you, f you fool. Alright. I think that's everybody. I think. I kind of wish I could remember all their names because they are all very unique, but I just can't. Now, I came from over there, I think. But there's another thing I can do. To glory! Hey! Welcome to the Whispering Rocket Underground Rapid Transit System. Would you like to go back to your private sanctuary now, Agent Kruller? Or somewhere else? I would like to go to my Let's sanctuary. Let's go to Ford's. I mean, my sanctuary. Yes, noble psycho master. Person, sir. I thought I recognized you in my dream, but I couldn't be sure. Now that I see you in your element, there's no doubt. You're Ford Cruller, the greatest leader the Psychonauts ever had. Well, you shouldn't believe everything you read in True Psychic Tales magazine. Okay, I'm not gonna read these because... What are you doing here at Whispering Rock? This trading facility is built right smack on top of the largest Citanium deposit known to man. It runs under this whole valley and makes this a very critical area for the Psychonauts. So I'm here to look after it and to make sure you little spoonbenders don't kill each other. What's Citanium? Citanium is a very rare psychoreactive mineral that crashed here on a meteorite hundreds of years ago. It responds to psychic waves, focuses them, amplifies them. It can make psychics more psychic. But, it can also make unstable people more unstable. Not everyone can handle that much activity in that part of their brain. It can drive them completely out of their gourd. Gives this valley an interesting history. Hmm? Yeah, we read about that. I saw you raking leaves. Was that a disguise? Uh, yes, well, well, I have many disguises. It helps me keep an eye on you kids wherever you go. <laughs> now, <clears throat> When I'm in disguise, I may pretend not to recognize you. Don't blow my cover, okay? Say no more. Your secret identity is safe with me. So, what mission are you on down here? Well, from here I can monitor world events, look for signs of psychic terrorism, ripples in the astral plane. And then fly out and save the day, right? You've got a jet hidden here somewhere, I'll bet. Well, you know, these days I'm really just more of a, a dispatcher. I spot the trouble and send out a, a, a younger agent, like Mia or Sasha. Or maybe you someday. What does all this equipment do? Well, up here, it's all intel. Down that hallway is the observation room. No tests going on in there right now. Maybe later. And beneath us, I have special machines for rebuilding side challenge markers and detangling mental cobwebs. You should go familiarize yourself with those. They'll come in pretty handy for you. Right. I'd better go. Lots of work to do. Good luck, Rasputin. Thanks. I'll need it. Don't worry. I'll be right here with you. Inside your head. My head? Yep. I want to keep my eye on you, son, so 
I'm going to be a psychic stowaway inside your noggin. If you ever want to make me appear, you can do it with this special device. Is that a piece of bacon? Oh, yeah. I just love bacon. I smell that stuff and I can't help it. I drop everything and come running. Okay. Do you have like a little baggie or something I could put this in? You get a move on or I'll eat that right here. <laughs> I still don't know how you, you use the special items. Oh, I just figured something out. View your current Psy Power in this thought bubble or press 1 to see what's in your backpack. Alright. Oh, uh, to pull out an item from your backpack, point to it with blah, then press space to return it to your backpack later. Press X. Oops, I pressed the wrong button. Now don't go pulling that out when I'm physically nearby, or I'm telling you I'm gonna eat it. <laughs> I like that he reacts to this. Go down. Now, before you go electrocuting yourself, let me tell you how these babies work. Now, this beauty here is a mental cobweb detangler. Oh, I know what those are. Mental cobwebs are... You see, when an area of your psyche is neglected for too long, mental cobwebs form. Now, up in the camp store, they sell a very special device known as a mental cobweb duster. You can take a projection of it into the mental world with you and use it to extract any cobwebs you find. The duster stores the cobweb's psychic energy on the real world side. So, you can take what you collect back here, hook it up to the loom, and weave that tangled mess into something useful. Like a card from a side challenge marker, which brings us to this fella over here. You put nine side cards into this guy, along with one side core, also sold in the company store for nominal fee, and it will kick out a bona fide side challenge marker, which will earn you a promotion to a higher rank. Rank up enough, you'll earn new psychic abilities. You got it? Put my mental cobwebs in there and my psi cards and cores in there, and soon I'll be able to burn stuff. Yep, basically. Have fun. Yay, we learn things. Uh, I just saw a card floating by. There you are. Now how long have I been faffing about doing practically nothing? And by practically, I mean nothing at all. Half an hour. That's nice. I like those numbers. Oh yeah, and I said on the first video that... Uh, uh, Psychonaut 2 was coming. I misspoke. I meant to say that it's already there. But yeah, I misspoke. I, I do that a lot. Can I jump up here? I can. I can't jump on top of this. Alright. Now fingers crossed, no loading issue. Where would you like me to take you, Agent Crawler? I would like to go. Uh, parking lot, campfire area, the lake. Geodesic psycho chamber. Bring me near the geodesic psycho isolation chamber. Roger that, Ranger Crawler. I saw Nils peeking into a hole in the girl's cabin. I'm hiding. And I thought, oh, Nils, when will you peek into the hole in my heart? Because you just see yourself staring right. back. Uh -huh. Let's make a teeny tiny bit of progress at least. <laughs> That's a loof, right? Coming to help you, buddy. Hey, is anybody out there? Thanks. I thought I was gonna have to eat my own arm. What is this thing? It's a GPC, a geodesic psycho isolation chamber. Oh man, cool. Cool? Do you have any idea what this does? Something cool? Uh, no. It's a sick sensory deprivation tank, a hermetically sealed metaphysical hotbox. It's solitary confinement for psychics. Nasty. And the coach locked you inside it? Nah, 
The staff haven't put any kids in the GPC since the 50s. Bobby threw me in here. Boolean warfare complex should have sold own size or larger only. While in cooler, perhaps notice gigantic bear with skin where hair should be? I didn't see anything in there. That's the whole point. Hmm. Just so. Empty now. Good luck, small ones. Hey, wait! Oh, they're gonna be friends. But now, we have access to this bad boy. And I can... Looks like one of the buttons is missing. It's almost as if... <laughs> Yay! Okay, loading. Agent 9, I'm here for the advanced training. Ooh. Stylish. I like it. I know it's old style and everything, but I really like that. There's not many people that do, but I do. Jump. Fossil. Nice. So what are we gonna learn? Bending spoons? Burning stuff? You don't want to answer? Agent 9? I've been hearing a lot about head explosion, and I was wondering... Science, Rasputin. That is what we practice down here. Not parlor tricks. If you are serious about exploring the possibilities of your mind, step up to the brain tumbler and we'll begin. Brain tumbler? Exploding a head is a parlor trick? This, this man is dangerous but stylish. Is this gonna hurt? Step up to the brain tumbler when you're ready. You haven't answered a question. Is this gonna hurt? Step up to the brain tumbler when you're ready. Well, I guess I'm ready. I'll save just in case. But what am I stopping right here? Hmm. What time is it where I am right now? Hmm. I still have to make myself something to eat. It would be wise of me to just stop right there. I kind of want to go in. But you know what? I'm going to keep it for next time. Lots of exploration to be done in this game. I don't regret it at all. Anyway, we're going to stay in this talish room for now. And wait for next episode. In the meantime... If you could like, comment, subscribe, that would help me a great deal. And if you don't want to, that's fine too. I totally get it. I just hope you're enjoying the video, even if not too much is happening. I'm trying to do something relaxing and, and funny if I can. Anyway, on that, I bid you a glorious day. And I'll see you on the next episode of The Psychonauts. Bye bye